All right, guys, so I've been using the ChatGPT Pro deep research feature, and it is quite frankly insane to say the least. Now, the only issue is it's behind a $200 per month paywall. Now, if you don't know about deep research by OpenAI, it essentially does PhD level research, and it can take anywhere from four minutes to 20 minutes. And we've been doing some deep dives on some different open source alternatives on this channel within the last four days. We did four different videos. One is on open source deep research, which is a CLI tool. The other was web UI, which is made by browser use and has deep researching capabilities. And then the other was another wrapper, which is a GUI front end interface to open source deep research. And I did a video yesterday actually doing comparison step by step, showing you how to set these all up, as well as testing these open source models between OpenAI's deep research. Now, right after I made this video, I actually came across another potential alternative to OpenAI's deep research. And yes, it is open source. Now, some of you who've been following this channel may have seen me cover different perplexity alternatives like Open Perplex, LLM Answer Engine, Perplexica, and we also covered Mini Perplex a month ago. Now, Mini Perplex is actually rebranded to Circa, and it is a minimalistic AI search engine that helps you find information on the internet. It's powered by the Forcell AI SDK, and you can search with models like Grok 2.0, DeepSeek R1, as well as many different other ones. Now, with this new rebrand, they also included a new deep research feature, which is pretty incredible. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use their cloud version 100% for free, or you can self-host it in the next five minutes in a very, very simple way. Use your own API keys, and you'll be able to do deep research without having to pay $200 a month. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. So here we are on the Git hub repo now to quickly go over circa here we can see that it's powered by Vercel ai sdk as well as tavily ai for search grounding and web search capabilities now a few features it has ai powered search web search url specific search weather programming maps youtube search academic search x post search flight tracker trending movies and tv shows movie or tv show search and then LLMs used, XAI's Grok, Anthropic Cloud Science 3.5, Meta's Llama 3.370B, DeepSeek R1 distilled by Grok, so you can leverage their fast inference time chips, OpenAI's O3 Mini, and it's built with Next.js, Tailwind CSS, Shad CNUI, Vercel, Exa AI, Tavily, OpenWeather, E2B, Google Maps, Mapbox, TripAdvisor, and Aviation Stack. And you can simply just deploy on Vercel if you want. You could click this deploy button and you would just have to simply go through the steps. It's very simple to deploy on Vercel, but I'm actually going to be showing you how to do this locally. Okay. So if you want to deploy on Vercel, simply just click this button, walk through the steps. Of course, make sure you have a Vercel account and then you'll be good to go. Now, before I actually go through the local installation of Scura, I want to show you their actual cloud hosted version. So if you go to scura.app, I'll leave a link down below. You'll see that they have their cloud version right here, and you can actually start using this without having to put your own API key in. So you can actually do deep research or perplexity type search 100% for free. So I'll walk you through some of the features here. So here we have web, so search across the entire internet. This is going to be something similar to perplexity. Then we have X, so search X posts. This is powered by Exa. And then analysis, so code, stock, and currency stuff. Fun, so talk to Grok like a digital friend. Academic, so search academic papers powered by Exa. YouTube, so search YouTube videos in real time powered by Exa, so very powerful. Extreme, so this is where the deep research functionality comes in. So deep research with multiple sources and analysis. We're going to test out that in just a second. And then here you can switch from Grok 2.0 to Grok 2.0 Vision. We have Claude Sonnet 3.5. And then we have Llama 3.370B and DeepSeek R1 Distilled. So just to show you an example here, we could say Grok 2.0. And if we're doing a basic web search, you could type something in, of course. I'm just going to click on one of the trending questions right here. So RFK Junior confirmation. And you can see it's doing a search query right now that is similar to perplexity. It's doing one now two, then three queries. And you can see the queries that it used, RFK Junior Confirmation 2025, the latest, um, all that good stuff. And we can see the actual websites right here, which is really nice. So found 10 different results. 
and we can see some pictures right here and then we can see our answer okay so background on the confirmation our right, key points here political reactions all that good stuff and of course you have suggested questions here so you can just click these and have follow-up questions so very similar to perplexity and of course this is for free now if we want to use deep research we can simply just click on extreme right here and then we can ask it a question so i'm going to say open ai's deep research making waves in the ai industry what does this mean for the future of business ai and research and is it worth 200 bucks per month let's go ahead and click send all right, so you can see here that it is actually conducting its research plan right here. Okay, so we can see in progress, we can see zero steps out of 15 steps have been completed so far. So one is now in process. So we can see that it is searched right here for OpenAI deep research impact in business. And then now it's searching academic papers right here. So we have archive paper right here. Now it's doing a different query right here. AI industry changes due to OpenAI doing another query right here another one right here so we can see all the different queries that it's doing right here and this is really good because you know this is this is exactly how uh, OpenAI's deep research looks kind of when you're doing a, a query it's going to search many different queries for many different sources and you're going to be able to get those citations in your uh, actual result. Now it's analyzing impact analysis, analyzing ethical impact analysis right here. The cost benefit analysis has been completed. If we open up this analysis right here, we can see what it took from the different learnings from the sites that it got and how it's actually forming its uh, analysis. And then competitive analysis has been completed. And if we go down, now we can see our answer right here. We can see our sources. So we can see web sources right here. We, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 different sources, which is really good. And then academic sources. We have a bunch of different academic sources as well. And then we can see the analysis based on these learnings. So it's a really nice user interface and GUI. I really like how it actually goes about doing this deep research. And now we can see our answers. So introduction, you know, giving an introduction about this, impact on business, chat changes in the AI industry, research contributions, value proposition at $200 US per month, controversies and ethical concerns, and then conclusion. Okay, so one thing I noticed that, you know, it doesn't have that deep research has and a lot of the other open source alternatives I showed had is having these citations at the bottom. OpenAI's deep research also has a citations within the article that it's writing, which is really nice, but a lot of them just include them at the bottom, which this one doesn't. It does have the citations up here, but it uh, makes it a little bit harder if you wanted to copy and paste the citations somewhere. So that's one thing I will say. Now the cool thing is you can do deep research here with Grok 2.0, 2.0 Vision, as well as Claude Sonnet 3.5. So if you want to use a powerful model like Claude Sonnet 3.5 with something like deep research, you can go ahead and do so. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about self-hosting this, deploying it locally. So first things first, you're going to need to sign up for the accounts with the AI providers you want to use. OpenAI and Anthropic are required, as well as Tavily is required for the web search feature okay you're going to want to obtain these api keys for each provider and then set the required environment variables as shown in the dot env dot example we're going to get to that in just a second but in a new file called dot env dot local or just dot env okay so let's go ahead first things first is we're going to want to clone this repository so you're going to change directory into wherever you want to clone that repository and then you're going to run git clone and then the repo url once you run that it's going to clone circa and then you're going to cd into that directory so cd sera and then i personally just ran code dot because i like opening it in something like vs code or cursor so if we open up my vs code right here you will have a dot env dot example file now i'll walk you through this because it did take me a couple tries just to make sure everything was right here so um a few api keys that i put are the ones where you see that it's kind of like has some stuff here like i put an xai api key right here i didn't put azure i didn't put you know these ones where it says x x x i didn't put an actual api key this is dummy data but when you actually run npm run dev it's going to do a validation um, so it's easier just if you put some dummy data here when you actually open up your .env file It's just gonna look like this when you get it from the repo Okay, so make it look like mine the one that i'm showing you right now where there's dummy data for the ones that you're not using Okay, so I put my actual open ai api key here. 
I put my Anthropic API key right here. And then this is dummy data. I put my Grok API key right here. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. As you can see, I did it for like 11 labs. You did it for Tavoli here. I did it for Exa. I did it for Firecrawl. You don't need every single one of these, but some of these are mandatory. I believe the models like they mentioned are mandatory. I think Exa or Tavoli, I believe one of those is. Um, I think Tavoli is Exa maybe or maybe not. I don't think you need 11 labs. I don't think you need Firecrawl. Um, if you do need specific ones, it will let you know. But if you don't, you can probably just put X's in a lot of them like I did here. And then down here, put XXX for all these ones. Now for the Upstash Redis REST URL, you're going to need to put an actual URL, but this is just a fake one. So you could just copy the one I have right here or put in whatever. Um, this one works though. And then same thing for the, the next public post hog host URL right here. It's simply just the dummy URL, but you need an actual URL um, format for those two. And then the rest can just be dummy data and your actual API keys. Once you do that, you're going to want to actually save this. And then you're going to want to run PNPM install to install the different dependencies. Once those dependencies are all installed, then you're going to want to run PNP run dev. Now you'll see here the first time I ran it, I didn't have the dummy um, variables for the .emv variables I wasn't using. So as you can see, it says string must contain at least one character. So then I fixed it and um, then it actually launched on localhost port 3000. So you can see here, mine's launched on 3004 just because I already have some other apps running, but now we have our local version of Sura. So this will be able to do all the same functionality that we showed you in the cloud version. Of course, if you don't have certain API keys plugged in, then you may or may not be able to access certain LLMs or certain features here, okay? But let's go ahead again to the extreme because we're you know really taught focusing on the open AI's deep research search capabilities right now and let's go ahead and try something like claude sonnet 3.5 okay so our query here is ai agents affecting business growth in 2025 in-depth research and trends to showcase how it will disrupt industries we're using claude sonnet 3.5 with deep research and we're going to go ahead and click on send all right so now we can see it has started its query and it is started its research process right here so developing the research plan once again okay so it's at three steps of 16 and you can see that it's going through that actual process right here here which is nice that we can see this history as well all right so we can see all the different queries that it did here and now we can see our web sources here it got 12 more uh, academic sources 12 more as well we can see our analysis so it did a really good in-depth job it seems and okay look so we can actually see if we hover over here it does show the sources which is really nice i like when it does that we can see the evolution of ai agents in business industry disruption and transformation strategic integration and decision making right here okay so this is actually i think a little bit better than the first one looks like it grabs some mckinsey's analysis reveals that blah 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 blah. so pulling actual um you know trends and whatnot that we're seeing different uh research papers and whatnot so this is good with statistics so all in all pretty good output and it did a good amount of steps and a lot of different research. So uh, this is something I will definitely experiment more with. I think it's really cool and useful that they have a cloud version too, which is 100% for free. You don't have to plug in your API keys or anything. So definitely try this one out. Now, a lot of you may be wondering where it lies in the comparison between one, some of these open source researching agents, as well as the actual open AI's deep research. First of all, I would recommend checking out this comparison if you really want to in-depth um, comparison between all of those models but i would say it's pretty good it has a really good ui um, in terms of quality of output like if i'm really need something that's very top notch 
I probably would opt for uh, me personally, just because, you know, I, I personally think I get the highest quality output from OpenAI's $200 a month one. So I'd probably use that. But in terms of the open source ones, um, this one right here uh, with the GUI wrapper is really good quality output I got. Web UI is good too, but it didn't ask me follow-up questions. So if you want in-depth comparisons between all that, you can check out that video here. And now that I'm mentioning it, this one as well, it didn't doesn't seem like it asks you follow-up questions to your initial query, which OpenAI's does, as well as some of the other open source ones that I covered. So a few different things there. You know, I think that de definitely can make the uh, deep research a little bit better because it gives the AI more context. Um, so those are a few things there. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. Have you tried out? Did you try out Mini Perplex before it was called Skira? And if so, have you tried Skira now? And you have, have you tried the deep research with it? If you have, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite one is. And are you just going to be using one of these open source tools or are you going to actually fork up the cash for $200 a month and use OpenAI's deep research? And if so, what are you using it for? What are some of your best use cases that you found? I'm very interested to see some of your guys' comments down below. Other than that, guys, if you're new here, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI agents, marketing, sales, business growth, AI coding, all that good stuff. So if you like the type of content, you got some value here. I really appreciate it. if you could like, comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads guys also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook open discord channel stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below and then also too guys you're definitely going to join our stride ai academy currently free right now and you're going to get a lot of behind the scenes resources templates tools trainings all the different stuff i create in these videos will be posted here for you to download for free so make sure to check that out also too guys if you run a business and you need help implementing ai agents or ai custom solutions into your business whether that's software ai agents ai cold callers ai appointment centers whatever the case may be book a call down below at executivestrad.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not or if you're actually an entrepreneur a founder a dev whatever the case is and you actually want to sell these ai agents to other business owners and you want our help our coaching and our implementation and our exact protocol on how to do that and sell these ai agents for 2 to 10k plus then book a call down below as well speak to my team and we can see if it's a fit other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care